Today, we are talking about 10 ways in which you are hiding out in your business and why self-love is the number one priority you need to implement in your solopreneur business. Hi, welcome, my name is Abigail. If you're new here, then I'm so glad that you've popped by. This channel is for us creatives who are intentionally elevating our confidence, our business confidence, our creative confidence, and our personal confidence. So if you wanna do just that, make sure you subscribe. The first one is thinking that you need to do this before you do that. That there's some kind of magic chronological order in which things need to get done before you go out and share your gifts or start that business or start painting or ask for a raise at work that you need to do this before you can do that. The reality that we live in is a fluid, tangled up place. It's not linear. This idea of things needing to be linear is a man-made construct and you have the choice to not conform to it. The second way in which you're not showing up for your business is getting stuck in the analysis paralysis. Getting stuck at the planning phase of whatever it is that you want to do. So if it is a marketing campaign that you want to implement, or maybe it's something that you want to create, a pattern, for a dress. Maybe it's a piece of art, a canvas, a blank canvas. And stop me if you've heard this before, but you get stuck in the planning phase of what you're going to be doing and all the steps that you need to take to get there. And I'm so familiar with this that you get stuck in all your research and your gathering of information and finding out, you know, how can I do this the best way possible? And you spend so much time planning how you're going to do the thing that you never actually get around to doing the thing. The third way in which you're hiding out in your business is that you are aiming for perfection. Perfection is the new swear word in my world. Perfection is not something to be proud of. Perfection is not something to strive for. Perfection is a form of fear that's just got a pretty bow around it. Perfection stops you from moving forward and stops you from taking risks and stops you from putting something out there to give you a stepping stone to leap forward to the next step. If you find you're stuck in that perfection zone, remind yourself of the saying that done is better than perfect. The fourth way in which you're hiding out in your business is about gathering other people's insights, opinions, research and placing too much emphasis on what other people have done before you, what other people think. And again, I'm guilty of this myself. I have interviewed so many women to find out what their secret to confidence is. And while that is valuable to get other people's insights, if you keep it from you tapping into your own insights, curating your own opinions and tapping into your own knowledge base and experience, then that's holding you up, then that's preventing you from really showing up. The fifth way in which you're hiding out in your business is by not sharing your story. Again, I'm guilty of this. Having had a great childhood, a very, I've never had any massive traumas, I've never had any epic adventures, I've just kind of had a great life, you know, average life. And I used to tell myself, well, because I haven't experienced anything horrific or anything epic, what story do I really have to share? But the secret is, is that the story doesn't have to be epic. The story can be in just sitting, having a cup of tea, and having that shift in perspective in this very moment. The profoundness of that moment can be the story that you can share. And regardless of the epicness of your story, somebody's going to relate. And when you relate, you connect. And when you connect, your gift is being shared. The sixth way in which you're hiding out is thinking that you need to get another 
certificate, you need to do another course, you need to get another qualification, that you need more and more education. Yes, again, I can totally relate. As a professional photographer, I thought, well, I don't have any certification that tells me that I'm a professional photographer, that I am proficient at what I do. And it was years before I realized that the work that I create is enough of a qualification that I don't need somebody else or an organization or an institution to tell me that I'm good enough. The work that I create and the work that I put out there tells me that I'm good enough. So don't get hung up thinking that you need more education, more qualification. Yes, if it's gonna move you along, absolutely do that. But if you find that you're just becoming a perpetual student and that you're not actually doing it from a place of wanting to know more, but you're more doing it from a place of not wanting to go out and do the next thing or make the next move, then it's time to stop that treadmill of education. After all, experience is the best education. And when you get out there and you do the thing, you never stop learning, you're constantly learning. So education is invaluable, but if you're hiding behind the next qualification and the next certification, then you're doing yourself and the people who need your gifts a disservice. The next way that you might be hiding out in your business is by comparing yourself to somebody else. And it's all too easy these days with social media. So unless that comparison is inspiring you to do more things and become a bigger, better version of you, unless it feels good and inspirational, then chances are it's killing your confidence. It's suppressing who you need to be because comparison, it's a horrible trap to fall into. It's it's too easy to feel like you're not enough when you compare yourself. So unless it inspires you to do something awesome or to become something bigger than what you are now, stop doing it, stop following those people. Another way in which you might be hiding out in your business is that you don't think you look the part. But we live in a time now where the traditional concept the traditional standards of what a successful, beautiful, happy woman looks like, that standard is being completely debunked. The realization is that we've been fed alive for decades as to what we should aspire to look like. And thankfully, things are changing. Thankfully, perspectives are changing and we're becoming more open to and accepting of all the various shapes and sizes. And so thinking that you need to fit a certain shape, standard, form is preventing you from really showing up and having an impact in your business. And one thing I learned from my 365 videos in 365 days is that it's not about you ultimately. It's about the message. It's about the gift. It's about the inspiration and what is inside you that can spark something inside something somebody else. So how that is packaged is pretty much irrelevant. It is what you are doing and sharing and creating that it helps or inspires or entertains somebody else. Another way in which you're holding yourself back is that you're being overly critical of yourself. And imagine your best friend, if she came to you and she's had a bad day, would you tell her that she sucks? Would you tell her that she's useless? Would you tell her that she's a loser? No, you wouldn't. Absolutely you wouldn't. So why are you doing that to yourself? And you know you're doing that to yourself. It's too easy. Somehow we've wired that into our brains to beat ourselves up when we're, when we're feeling low. All you're doing is diminishing your self-image and your self-worth. And with that, you're not going to show up in the way that you're destined to, in the way that you need to. So start becoming your own best friend. Be kind, be supportive, empathetic, and give yourself some kindness and some love especially when you mess up, because you are going to mess up, but don't let that hold you back. And the last way in which you might be holding yourself back in business is that you're too focused on your mistakes. You're too focused on your failures, that you forget that that's only half of the story, that it's like a roller coaster. It's got its ups and it's got its downs. And all you're doing is looking down at the bottom here. But there are some high highs up there that you need to pay attention to and you need to celebrate. And that when you step back and you look at the whole picture, 
it's a beautiful journey with all its highs and with all its lows and that you can see how the lows that you've experienced helped you get to your next high and lastly i want you to remember that wherever you are in your journey you are enough you are smart enough pretty enough, intuitive enough, qualified enough, gifted enough. You just are enough. And coming from that place of enoughness, stop holding yourself back. Go out there and share your gifts, the gifts that is you, just being you exactly as you are now. You are perfect just as you are. That is the epitome of self-love. And as a solopreneur, self-love should be at the top of your priority list. Because if you haven't got that in place, it trickles down into everything else in your business. Solopreneur self-love is this month's theme inside the Confident Creative Academy. And we have an amazing masterclass by Taryn Edge, who is a spiritual teacher. And she's helping us tap back into our true selves. So if you want to find out more about that, check out confidentcreativeacademy.com. Links are in the description down below. And then I want to hear from you. How are you going to stop hiding out in your business this month, starting today? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. And if something resonated with you today, it might resonate with one of your friends. So please go ahead and share it with her. And whatever you do next, do it consciously, do it confidently. Give yourself some self-love today and I'll see you in the next video.